Father, a question uh, I have, and a lot of people would have, would be, how do we prepare for confession? Because in my own life, whenever I'm going to confession, I don't feel like I'm preparing like I should be. There's a kind of a part of me that knows that something is lacking. Uh, I go in, I bow towards the tabernacle, and I go straight into the confession box. I don't sit and I don't ponder and think about my sins. I kind of know them before I go in, yet there are others. Um, is this a lazy approach, do you think? How, do you, how, do you, how would you advise someone to prepare for the sacrament of confession? Hmm. One needs to invoke the Holy Spirit uh, for two graces in particular, the light to see one's sins and the grace of true, perfect contrition. But one needs also a moment in which one generally not only says the formula, the confitio, or I confess to Almighty God, that needs to be said, but one also has the time to look over, therefore think mentally what has it to be confessed, and also to make the act of contrition before going in. Those elements, if they're not there, mean that one is going in almost as one goes into McDonald's. It's too quick. There are graces in the air, and they're big ones. One needs time to take them in, as with all the sacraments. One needs time to receive well, to absorb calmly. And also afterwards, that's a moment of grace. So, quietly, listen, wait, pause, and then confess well. Not go on and on, because people sometimes don't know how to confess because they don't get to the point. You need to hear the sins, the sins. Switch of action can happen as well, that's a good thing, but one needs to get to the sins. One sometimes find people who talk and talk and talk and haven't actually made a confession at all. Mm -hmm. So what you're saying is when we go in, is perhaps maybe think more about the Ten Commandments and get right to the point, like I've done A, B and C, rather than sort of develop a, a conversation around it for about ten minutes before we actually say what it is we've done. It, well, the, you can uh, conte contextualise things, mm -hmm. that's helpful, especially in the case of a person who hasn't got big sins, devout persons who want spiritual guidance. Mm -hmm. Therefore, one explains the context. That's normal. Yes, that's helpful. It's kind of doctoring, you kind of spiritual. An element of psychology also enters into it. Like psychiatry almost sometimes. Yes, getting to know how a soul functions. If one knows the soul, it's helpful. That's true. But it's not the time to introduce too much banter or just gossip. I mean, things go off the track sometimes in confession. Mm -hmm.